going on, guys? It's Jazzy, and today I'm here with the one and only Mr. Will Farrow. I'm here at Joey King. Mr. Will Farrow, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Also, I'm loving the whole LAFC fit. I know that you're a part owner of it, so yes. yeah. You, oh, shoot. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a part owner, but keep going. Keep... Steve, Steve helps me out with the team. Yeah. I'm, That's great to know. I'm an assistant to the assistant coach. Right. Well, I wanted to know, are you a Swifty? And if so, what's your favorite Taylor Swift song? Oh my god, of course I'm a Swifty. I think my... Hmm, that's a really hard question. I think my favorite Taylor Swift song at the moment is a... Uh, at the moment it's Lavender Haze. Because uh, that's the first thing that popped in my mind. <laughs> and also your glasses are giving Lavender Haze. Thank you, I love that. And that's a very great song. I actually had a chance to listen to that, so... It's a very great song, that, and thank you for that. And speaking about Taylor Swift, yes. your friend Taylor Swift actually introduced you to her fans at a concert, and it was 70,000 people there. Oh my God, Taylor, I'm so excited. <laughs> So how was that moment for you to be in front of that many people? Did you feel nervous? Because it kind of looked like you were nervous at that moment. I was very nervous. I felt extremely nervous. I've never been in front of that many people ever. So I was very excited to be part of that music video and to be there, but I was so nervous. And it was, but it was so nice. All the fans were so sweet and warm and welcoming. And Taylor, of course, is the best. So I, it's a, it's a very high memory in my, in my memory box. Yes, of course. And I love Taylor Swift's music. Her music is amazing. And her fans are very loyal to her. Super loyal. So, and they seem very nice too. They are the they they are the best. I love Taylor Swift fans. I love Taylor. So, I mean, like, what a great fandom. What more could you ask for? Exactly. And Taylor Swift, she seems really nice. I mean, bringing you out there on stage, that's just so sweet. She's pretty awesome. I mean, she's like she's she's an amazing woman. Amazing woman. Love her. Well, you mentioned how making morning announcement in high school sparked your creativity in calling and performing. Can you tell us more about how that experience influenced you in acting and in performing arts and the actor as we know? Wow, yes. Well, I would, yeah, I would make uh, morning announcements at my high school, make right silly little advertisements. We were trying to sell class t-shirts for our end of the year trip. And uh, yeah, I got to try little funny voices and make fun of fellow students and teachers and it became a big hit it became a viral hit before the internet got it, got viral it. meaning just everyone in my school got liked it. it i didn't do Did anything morning announcements? i never we didn't have anything like that oh. okay no we didn't even have a pa system oh there wow were no announcements everything was by word of mouth and and, and nothing notes. past notes <laughs> yeah well, that doesn't seem bad, but I'm sure that that definitely sparked a lot of creativity in your mind and helped you have that kind of um, kind of like a passageway to go into acting sure. too. And I know that you are very funny, and you like to bring depth into your characters. Thank you. No Thank problem. You. Thank you. Appreciate it. No problem. Can you imagine being at that school and having Will give the announcements? I mean, how much fun would that have been? Been like, really fun. If people only knew the person doing the announcement would turn into. A, one of the icons of comedy in the world, right? Look, I'm not, not, not going to dispute that. Everyone's speechless. <laughs> I am too. I'm definitely no. speechless about that. And you're never speechless. Basically, yeah, never. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've seen you working on your DJ skills on a viral video at your son's frat party at USC. <laughs> really so... <laughs> oh. No, he can stay. Don't be mean. Come on, he can stay. fun stuff. Yeah, he can stay. He'll add the ad libs. bad because you didn't have any questions for Steve. No, no, no. That's fine. Is that fine? No, I'm going to answer the next one for you. Okay. As if it's me. Great. Well, what are your favorite songs to play as a DJ? And do you plan to crush any parties in the future? Well, I'll answer the second part of the question. I plan to crush many parties in the future. Got it. And what my favorite songs to play? to play? Yes. Baby Got Back. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. Um, that's an old school pull, <laughs> right? Um, I love playing um, a lot of Jose Feliciano. Uh, Kendrick Lamar. Very nice to know. Okay, you got Kendrick Lamar in there. That's a very great selection. And uh, again, as being part owner of the LAFC, I'm sure that a lot of fans are waiting for you to crash DJ at the LAFC yeah, games. Yeah, at the stadium, yeah. Pro yeah, that's probably... I think that would be a great I, I idea. Think of that. Can that's I ask you idea. one question about DJ? Yeah. When you're spinning a the, the disc, vinyl. Yes, yep. do you say, hey, ho, <laughs> do you do that? I, I actually 
reverse it. I go, oh, hey. <laughs> That's what sets you apart. Yeah. Well, with such an amazing cast, there is a lot of excitement that takes a part around the new movie that's become on me for. Could you share what makes this upcoming movie so exciting and what can all the fans expect from it? I think all the fans can expect a lot of despicable minion behavior, of course, um, and a lot of villainous fun. We've got some of the best cast ever. We've got Will Ferrell, Steve Carell, of course, Chloe Fineman, Kristen Wiig. Like, it just is such an amazing cast to be part of. I'm so happy to be part of this cast. Um, and things get a little crazy, as they do in the Despicable Me movies. And we've got, you know, great music, great fun. You'll, you'll see. Yeah, like you said, we're all excited for the movie. We're excited for the soundtracks, too, because we all know that the Despicable Me soundtracks are always top tier. So I agree. we're all waiting for it, and the villains, the too. The Despicable Me soundtrack for this particular movie is particularly amazing. I watch the movie, and I still can't stop singing the songs. But I don't think I'm allowed to say what they are, so I'll wait. <laughs> there is excitement. There's adventure. There is humor. There is pathos. Mm. Oh, yeah. So things that are heartwarming. And... Uh, I think, it, well, and there's also a baby Gru, which I think is one Whoa. of the funniest characters I've ever seen. I agree. Baby Gru, okay, well, waiting for that, of course, for him to show up. You're going to go nuts. <laughs> okay, then, well, I'll take your word on it. I'll take your word. Okay. All right, All right. we'll talk later. And, All right, we'll talk later. And if you okay. look like you're nuts, then I'll know that you went nuts. That, that okay. Yeah. All right, got it. Hey, shake on it. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you so much. Well, guys, can you please share some words of motivation to everyone watching my show? Uh, 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 stay, be, in, stay in school. Stay, and be a good person. <laughs> and be a good person. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, everyone, I'm here with Mr. Steve Carell and Mr. Will Farrell. And until the next time, Jazz and out.